built it Italy, it sounds like the beginnings of a bad joke about the Second World War. But the Italian built Renegade is actually the latest in a string of surprising successes from Fiat Chrysler Automobile, FCA. While the Renegade won't, at least immediately, be replacing the Compass and Patriot, it is the first budget Jeep to keep the brand's ethos intact. The littlest Jeep manages to combine a healthy smear of Fiat's sense of humor with a surprising degree of practicality, especially in the just plain silly subcompact crossover segment. The Renegade isn't even close to perfect. With its charm and capabilities, however, you would have to be some kind of monster not to like the tree Jeepster. With this family tree, I wasn't expecting the Renegade to have the feel or performance that goes with the Jeep name. So it was with surprise, but no lack of appreciation, that I discovered the rough and ready soul of the Renegade. For starters, the steering and ride offer an impressive combination of refinement and track-like ruggedness. The Renegade even manages to take corners without getting ruffled. This doesn't mean that the Renegade is quick, even when fitted with the 2.4-liter Tiger Shark 4-cylinder, as had been my Renegade Sport press demonstrator. In the Renegade this venerable Italian 4-pot puts out 180 Italian stallions and more importantly 175 pound-feet of torque. Mated to a 9-speed transmission this combination is good for a stately 8.8 second sprint to 60. Between the cutesy Easter eggs and the wee Pixar-like exterior styling, the Renegade is definitely not a car for everyone. That makes sense when we consider the market segment, which is inhabited by oddballs like the Nissan Juke and the Mini Cooper Paceman. That being said, unlike other Tiger Shark applications, the version in the Renegade at least delivers reasonable to work at most RPM. To be sure, there are more practical ways to spend the $25,000 than the Jeep Renegade. Unlike most other basic transportation, though, the Renegade has a soul, and even some unique capabilities. Perhaps most importantly, at least for Jeep fans, the first Italian-built Jeep lives up to the spirit of the brand, as the little Renegade that could. Everywhere you look on the interior is another carefully placed little nod to Jeep's heritage. Is it catchy and overly cute? Yes, absolutely. But it is also the perfect way to make the smallest, cheapest Jeep feel special and loved.